Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Cobb, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. You completed independent speaking practice test number one. Describe a place you visited as a child. What is your favorite memory while visiting this place? Now, I'm pretty sure that you completed this one already. Now, what you may not know is if you go to the pronunciation or the speaking part of my course, let's do that right now. I'm going to show you something. If you kind of look through the lessons, you'll see I have an additional uh, 300 topics that you can use to practice your speaking. So there's no reason to repeat a practice test in my course. Um, all right, so if you look here under independent, so all of these practice tests here, all of these topics appeared on the official exam. I posted those so my students can have some idea the kind of questions are going to be asked, right? Now here's more practice here. You see this? Additional free choice and pair choice speaking topics 31 through 300. Right here. So you can practice all of these all the way down to 300. You see what I'm saying? So that will give you some good practice too. Okay, so I have the rubrics right in front of me and I'm now going to listen to your practice test so I can give you the most accurate score possible. So I want to listen to the whole thing once then we'll listen to it again and comment accordingly. I think that my most favorite childhood memory is when my mother took me to a park which is near by our house. It was an amusing memory in my life because first I had a special day with my mom and we are having some photos while swinging, sliding and play tennis in the park. I always memorize those moments while looking photos. Secondly, visiting a park when I was a child is the best memory because it has given me new friends in my life. It means there was a lot of children in the park. So I met a new friends. They all are having contact with me till now. For this, I ever forget my child. Okay, so now we can listen to it again. I'll comment accordingly. I think that my most favorite so if I think that just say my most favorite childhood memory is childhood memories when my mother is when my mother so don't forget your verb there Cav you need to have subjects and verbs in there if you don't do that you will lose some points in your language use so be careful took me to a park which is near by our house it was an amusing memory in my life but wait a minute you need to describe this park. You're not telling me what it looked like. Were there trees? Were there, was there grass there? Was there a lake? Were there birds? Were there people walking their animals? Were people riding bicycles? You have to give me some idea of what the place looks like. That way, I can tell that you've answered this first part of the task. You're not really describing the place. Because... First, I had a special time with my mom and we are having some photos while swinging slide. We're having some photos. We were taking photos or having photos taken by a photographer. So that's also some language use issues. And play tennis in the park. Now a couple of things. With the T and the P, you need to pronounce these with more air. So when I say the word park, I'm going to say park, park. I'm not going to say bark, bark. I'm going to say park. So you need to pronounce that P with more aspiration. I always memorize those moments while looking photos. Secondly, this... Yeah, some language use issues there, too. Being a park when I was a child is the... But what is your favorite memory exactly? Best memory. Because it has given me new friends in my life. It means there was a lot of children in the park. So I met a new friends. You say, I met a new friends, but A, you want to say friends. So what friend in particular, who did you meet exactly? And then really spend time discussing that, and that can help you develop 
your ideas. That all are having contact with. Maybe instead of they, who were all, maybe use the word who. So you're using an adjective clause connector, and that's going to show more advanced grammar. Wait till now. For this, I ever forget my child. Right, so on this one, if we look at the rubrics here, uh, with delivery, I think you can definitely improve in your intonation. So go to my pronunciation lessons 36 through 40 to get some tips on how you can vary your tone more. Language use. You're having some problems with language use. Sometimes when you're forming your sentences, you're not using subjects and verbs in there. So you have to be careful about that. Uh, so, and also I think with language use, you can improve what's called the complex type sentence structure. That means you can improve using adjective clauses, for example. So if you go to the grammar part of my course, study the lesson titled Adjective Clauses so you can get more familiar with this type of grammar. Uh, I think topic development, the problem is you really didn't describe the place and it wasn't really clear what your favorite memory was. So you pretty much have weaknesses in delivery, language use, and topic development. Your score here, I'm going to put you around 2.1 out of 4, 17 points out of 30 on this practice test. All right, let's listen to your next speaking practice test. He is the most important person in my life because I believe that. Okay, I think you're going now to the the second one or here, describe an important person in your life, then explain why the person is important to you. So this is also a very tough question because it's requiring a very specific vocabulary. My father is the most important, I believe that my father is the most important person in my life because he always gives me the best suggestions in everyday life. First, he is a great teacher in a high school. He always motivates me and all students to study better. Once I got a lower score in the first year exams, I felt depressed. That time, my father promotes me to study energetically. Then I got a higher score in the second year exams. Secondly, my father is the most important person in my life because he also suggests me in personal decisions. It means after my graduation, I feel tentative to choose a major course in a university. So, my father helps me to select my best... Okay, so let's listen to it again. Now, listen to the first part. I believe that my father is the most... Again, you don't say I believe that. Just say my father. Get right to it. There's no reason to put those unnecessary words in there. Try to be as concise as you can. You got 45 seconds for this practice test or this speaking test. Make every word count. Don't use any unnecessary words. Most important person in my life because he always gives me the best suggestions in everyday life. He gives you the best what? Trying to understand this idea. The best suggestions in everyday life. The best, solu the best solutions in everyday life. First, he is a great teacher in a high school. He always motivates me and all students to study better. Once I got a lower score in the first year exams, I... Now, once you say once I got a low score, I would recommend use a word like, for instance, or case in point, to introduce that specific detail. That way it's easier to see the connection of your ideas. That would be a comment for topic development. That time, my father... That time, or at that time... Promotes me to study energetically. He promotes me to study. I would say encourages me. Or he encouraged me to study. I felt depressed. That time, my father promotes me to study. I would say at that time, my father encouraged me to. I would use past tense and probably say at that time instead of promotes, encourages. So you're having some word choice issues. But what are we missing here, Calf? You, I mean, why not just describe him first? Why are we making this so hard? Give me... Give me some description of him. Tell me who your father is. How tall is he? What does he? What kinds of clothes does he wear? Does he have dark hair? Does he wear glasses? Um, 
Is he more of an extrovert or an introvert in his personality? Tell me. Describe me. Tell me who he is. If you can do that first and then maybe give one reason why he's important, then I think you will have better, you would have better addressed both parts of this speaking task. And that I can't quite figure out what you're saying there. He got a higher score in the second year exams. You might say there, consequently I got a higher score, or due to my father's tutoring and help, I got a higher score. So again, you're in need of using some transition words so that it's easier to understand the connection of your ideas. Secondly, my father is the most important person in my life. I like the use of the word secondly. That helps tie back to what you've already said, by the way. He also suggests to me in personal decisions. It means after my graduation, I feel tempted you to choose a major course in your university. Yeah, I think you have some word choice issues in there. You felt tempted, or after my graduation, I felt tempted, or I, I felt inclined to doing something. So my father helps me to select my best. Okay, so what do we have here? I, I think on this one, you're having some language use issues. Sometimes you're struggling. I think using the right word or the most appropriate grammar. Uh, topic development, again, you're shying away sometimes. When the question is asking for very, very specific detail, you seem to move more in a general direction. Now, what does that mean? I think that's telling me that you have some vocabulary limitations, maybe even some grammar limitations. So in order you, before you can improve your speaking, you need to improve your vocabulary and your grammar proficiency. Does that make sense? And then you'll, you'll have a better full range of expression of ideas and you won't be as limited as you are right now. So I highly recommend for you, keep focusing a lot in my vocabulary lesson three, vocabulary lesson four, vocabulary lesson five, and vocabulary lesson six. Those are going to be important for you. All right, your score here, uh, I'm going to put you in the two range. I'm going to put you at about 2.3 out of 4, 18 points out of 30 on this particular practice test.